Okay, so this video is about the displacement map. Now a displacement map is an image that can be used to alter the geometry of a mesh. The value of each pixel is used to change the position of the vertices of the mesh. Now this is important, this is vertices, this is geometry. Everything I've shown you so far is about changing the color or the shininess of the material. So just grab this code and put it into your client TS, save it. What's new here is this displacement map. And this is the image, Jebco Barthi 5400-2700 8-bit JPEG. Now this is also in the resources that you can download. Okay, and this is a height map of the Earth, but it also includes bathymetry data. So the darker colors are the lowest altitude, and the lighter colors are the highest altitude. So each of these values will be used to alter the height of the geometry. So looking at the client, here we go. So this is the displacement map. So material.displacement map. And note that we're adding the displacement map to the material. The displacement map alters the height of the geometry and the vertices rather than changing the color or the shininess of the material, but we still add it to the material. The other important thing is I'm using the mesh fong material in this video. I can use any material I like that supports the displacement map. And also I've added two more properties down here to the material being displacement scale and displacement bias. Refresh and let's have a look at it. If we go into wireframe mode, there are only four vertices in this plane geometry. So the displacement map is only really altering four vertices. So we don't see anything different than what we've seen already. What we need to do is add vertices. So go down here and uncomment this section here where we can modify our plane geometry properties and now i've got width segments and height segments here and we've got two extra controls on the gui down here put in the wireframe now width segments now i'm increasing the number of width segments we're still not seeing any changes because all our vertices are at the either end of the plane let's add some in the middle okay there we go and now we start to see some deformation and the higher up i go more resolution there is. Now you'll know that your computer is working much harder as it's generating more and more vertices. So let's go right to the top. So right now I've generated 360 times 180 vertices. And that's using that image to alter the height of the vertices. Lighter colors are higher than the darker colors. As you can see here, there's the lighter colors. There's darker colors. Okay, so I've also added the displacement scale here. Okay, so it's only scaling a little bit there. And the displacement bias, which is an offset. So if I look at it from that direction, there's a displacement bias, either really high or really low. Now this underlying geometry here is 360 by 180. That's one vertice for every one degree latitude, longitude, on the earth. We can go much higher resolution than that, and I'll show you that in the next video. So rather than having to use the GUI to manually set our width segments and height segments, we can actually just change our plane geometry where we've constructed it, just hard coded like that, 360 by 180. Just make sure our plane data matches, because that's the numbers that the GUI will start with. Plane data, width segments, regenerate plane geometry. This was discussed in earlier videos. Okay, so it's pre-created already at 360 by 180. And there's wireframe. That's the displacement map. In the next video, we'll look at extra material properties that allow us to efficiently increase the resolution of what we're seeing here.